Hi, Todd Bourne here in the Forecast Center with a look at our weather week ahead. And you can see the clouds moving out. At least these are pretty much the last of the clouds to move out of the Oracle text today as we did start off with quite a few clouds over the southeastern half of the area. And it looks like we're stuck with some sunshine, at least through tomorrow. But changes are on the way. Quick look at the weather map shows high pressure, which is now pretty much right over the top of us. It's going to be sliding its way towards the east in the next 24 hours, keeping us sunny, keeping us chilly. You can see the next disturbance moving into the four corners by tomorrow evening. This is going to bring us our next chance for some rain as we look ahead to Monday. Here's a look at Robin's story to Futurecast, showing you a clear sky across the Arklatex tonight. And with the clear sky, not much wind, temperatures will plummet tonight into the 20s and lower 30s. Freeze warning is in effect, as for many locations, this will be the first freeze of the season. And then tomorrow, another chilly day, as despite the fact that we'll see lots of sunshine, temperatures likely stay in the middle 50s for daytime highs. Longer range, we will see again the clouds increase across the region late Sunday night. And then Monday, here comes the rain. You can see showers invading the western sections of the Oracle text during the morning, spreading across all of the area Monday, and we'll see the rain gradually tip off and come to an end as we go through the latter stages of Monday evening. And the clouds, however, more than likely will stick around through most of Tuesday and possibly into Tuesday night. As far as rainfall potential, future cash shows that uh, shouldn't have too many issues with getting too much rain, as most locations probably will be in that half an inch to three quarters of an inch range. There is a possibility we could see a few scattered spots that pick up more than an inch, and maybe a bit less over the northern sections of the area. So your forecast for tonight. Is basically looking clear and it's looking cold. Again, freeze warning is in effect. You can see lows over the northern half of the area, mid to upper 20s. 28 in Texas, Canada, 26 in Ida Bell, 25 tonight in Dequeen, 31 degrees for the low temperature in Shreveport, which would be our first freeze of the season, 30 tonight in Natchitoches. Tomorrow, expect another chilly day as we'll see lots of sunshine, highs in the low to the 50s, 51 degrees in Texas, Canada, 54 for the daytime high tomorrow in Shreveport. Normally, this time of year, we're in the uh, pretty much upper 60s across the area, and it looks like we will see those uh, temperatures continue. Uh, here we will send the catch of the rain again Monday, but only 50 for the high because of the clouds, still 50 for two. Tuesday. We will stay chilly, low 50s through next weekend. Lows will be in the pretty much middle 30s. Not much more as far as rain, maybe a slight chance as we go into the beginning of Thanksgiving week. So all in all, looks like a quiet conclusion to the weekend tomorrow. And then we'll see a, the probability of seeing a likelihood, I guess I should say, of seeing some rain across the Arctic here for Monday. But next week, for the most part, looking dry and rather chilly.